fill the tape for this heavyweight fight. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Alistair the Reeb Overeem. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Alexei the Boa Constrictor, Alignac. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. So with a razor sharp focus, here is Alistair Overeem. Striking accuracy approaching 75%. We'll see if he can get that efficient game going here early tonight. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. He's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Oh, power shot there from the Reem, Alistair Overeem. He has aligned with Elliot Marshall there in Colorado to help him work on his grappling. Of course, he continues to spend time at Jackson Wink MMA in Albuquerque, New Mexico. The Reem has been at this a long time. Certainly not a guy who is sitting around resting on his lure. Oh, this is not good. That right eye starting to shut. Nice left hand by Finds a home for that left hook. Lead kick landed there by the ring. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, nice overhand right. Nice leg kick. Oh, big elbow. Above the eye. Oh, oh, another one. And this is a great fight. These guys are just letting it all hang out. Nice. Nicely done. Great commitment to the kicking game. Three minutes and counting to go here in round one. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish it. He rocked him, he hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot to close the door. Could not shut the lights off. And now, he's past him trying to find that shot again. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. Oh, another one! Oh, my goodness. Oh, huge kick to the leg. Finish. Trying to stay in this fight. Let's go. Oh, Lennon gets hit with that hook. That one had some pop behind him. Oh, big elbow. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Well, the calf kicks all the rage, but he's not discriminating, attacking the thigh pretty well. Oh, nice ankle pick there. His wrestling chops on full display tonight. Full display, and it also shows you, John, that he's willing to do it in any way, shape, or form to get to the finish line and get his hand raised. up on the submission. Look pretty tight to me. Mm, that was nice. <laughs> Overeem's right back to the full mount here. Good solid strike on the ground. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. Oh, getting leaky now. The hard ground and pound has opened up a cut. Under a minute now to go. Overeem's got the full mount. Making all these shots count. Oh, Linus going for the leg. Might be a submission opportunity here. Heel hook looks tight. 
Great job maintaining position there. You never want to lose position to chase a submission. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Oh, now he's going to find himself in a little more danger. Fight IQ on a hundred as this guy continues to target that swollen area. 20 seconds left. Oh, Lennox back in full mount. Lands the ground and pound strike. Over him's in half goal. Nice strike from bottom position. Round two next. All right, there's the end of the round. Back to the stools we go, and they need to do something to address the swelling because at this point in time, he has almost been rendered a one-eyed fighter. Just remember, there's one opponent in front of you, and you only need one. All right, as they attend to the damaged fighter, we will re-rack some replays for you. A lot of damaging strikes landed by the opposition in that previous round. Well, him just not really paying attention on the defensive side has made his opponent look like an absolute world beater. He's a good fighter, but he has never looked this good. And that is, in, that is partly because his opponent is not defending. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we are, early round two. All right, so after one of the more entertaining rounds in recent UFC history, our next round is upon us. Man, those guys both took some serious damage in that previous round. They both took some damage, but they both gave it. They both gave it as well as they took it. Let me quote it and go down first. Over it. Oh! Oh, he's wobbling now. Oh! I need you to finish this fight now! All right, so the commitment to the takedown pays off. After several failed attempts, he finally gets his first takedown. Now let's see what he can do with it. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other DC. Oh, and he locks up the triangle. That looks tight, DC. It's very tight. And now he's just got to start passing the arm across. Pull it down on the head, beat the hip, and he will definitely get the submission. Relax, relax. <clears throat> I'm gonna stand you up. You need to work. Pummel out. Get yourself up in a good position, a better position. Oh. In the half guard. Oh, Lennox cheek looks like it's cut here, starting to bleed a little bit now. Right where he wants to be, in the place. Stay on him. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offer. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, a real nice shot to the head in the clinch there. Well, body language is a great indicator, and that is one confident man right there after a big knockdown in the previous round. He did everything right to secure that knockdown. Perfect setup with the hands. Got the knockdown. Let's see if he can find the shot that's going to finish the fight. So a much different approach from that one appeared to stun him. Oh, man, it's a big shot, too. Oh my goodness, what a right hand. Oh, that was a really nice takedown. Keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Look at him attack that arm triangle on the opposite side. When it's time to finish, he will lock his hands, pass his body all the way to the opposite side, drop his chest to get... Yeah, paging Alexio Lennox. Somehow he got out, though. Great job clearing the hips, facing, and getting out of that Ezekiel choke attempt. This is where he wants to be. Oh, man, another strike right on that swollen area. Somebody get the man an ice pack, please. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, nice. 
Well, this is kind of crazy the way this is transpiring. This jiu-jitsu fighter looks like a professional boxer here tonight. He told us about his evolution. He has absolutely taken it to the next level. That one hurt him bad. Let's go. Finish, finish, finish. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, setting up for a submission now. Oh, that's getting deep. Wow, he's out. The fight's gonna continue. Oh my goodness, I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. Well, the cut man's getting excited, but nobody else is. That cut's getting worse by the minute. Every time he gets hit there, it gets a little bit messier. Man, that is loud. Another strike lands for the kickboxer. He really found that flow state pretty early in this fight, and he hasn't looked back. He found it really early. And when this guy gets into his groove, he is hell on wheels. And right now, he is showing why he is such a high-level, high-regarded kickboxer. He is outclassing this guy. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to start add up. Oh! Oh, nice right hand. Nice. Angle. Finish it. Finish it. Seconds winding down in round two. He's hurt again. Yes, the single collar tag. Oh, good round. All right, there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and the doctor's not going to let you continue as a one-eyed fighter. You all can see the swelling around his eye. It is awesome, and I'm not sure how much longer he can stay in this fight. All right, well, one minute of end swell can only do so much. Let us look back at some of the damaging strikes in that previous round. It doesn't seem like it's going to do much, and if it does, he can't take any more of these shots. He was too stationary. He took everything square on the target. He's got to move his head, and he's got to be proactive instead of reactive in terms of his defense. You ready to fight? Ready. Third, Third round underway. Oh, hit kick blocked, though, by Olenna. Coming, good movement to avoid that damage coming down. He's isolating his arm. Oh, that's tight. Oh, he's got his back. <laughs> Setting up another submission. Oh, he's got him in a choke here. Oh, now he goes on the submission. Officially swollen shut. The referee keeping a close eye on things. Maybe he'll call for the ringside position, but that condition is. Oh! oh, he gets back up. The question is for how long? So holding on to him here, not doing a ton. Perhaps he's looking for a Oh, another heavy shot gets through. Can't get it. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. Overeem's in half guard. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV. But every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to... Darcy, yep, try to get the Darcy. Here. That Darcy is tight. He's getting very close to finishing the submission. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, Jonathan, he just gets up. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before he gets worse. Oh, strong reversal on the ground here. Well, as many expect. Well, so somehow, some way in this final round, back to the feet. It's like he playing the lottery, John. He got to his feet now. Does his numbers hit? He has got to hit every button to try to get a finish. 
All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence, and when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah. No more risk management. Either get knocked out or you knock him out. One way or the other, you're going to lose. You can lose by decision or you can lose by knockout. But at least when you go for the knockout, you give it. Oh! Wow. Oh, big diving punch lands up top. So, do you believe it? Jeez Louise. Make the bad man stop. A nice stoppage win for him here tonight. And the other side just couldn't handle the incoming assault. A flurry of punches, most of them upstairs. And when those big shots land repeatedly, the referee has no choice but to step in and call the fight. We send it in there now to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 12 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by TKO, Alexi, the Boa Constrictor, Alignan. Well, there he is, the man of the hour. And you got to think this dude's going to get a serious Instagram push tonight after the win by TK. Oh, he's going to get a massive push because he hurt his opponent and he pressed.